And he, of course, two is Kings Road, Jamie Goldstein. OK, after that previous uh, fall, three is Sunny Bay, Mark Bradburn. Number four, good Lord, Lord Murphy, Robert Witcher. Five is Edmund, last year's winner, trained by Henry Daly and uh, ridden by Richard Johnson. Seven, Yura Gooden, Roddy Green. Number eight, Dom Samurai, Rupert Wackley. Nine, Mundigwa, Jacques Ricou, having ridden the previous winner. Ten, Kaki Crazy, Tony McCoy. Eleven, Papo Charisma, Robert Bellamy. Number 12, Moral Support, Tony Dobbin. Thirteen is Atavistic, Paul Flynn. Fourteen, Flaked Oats, Joe Tizard. Fifteen is Joyush, Sam Strong, claiming the three. Sixteen, Ambleside, Rodney Farrant. Seventeen is Arden Scout, Dominic Ellsworth, claiming five. Eighteen, Spanish Main, Matty Bachelor. Nineteen is Montreux, Leighton Aspel. And twenty, Royal Tommy, is now Mr. Frank Windsor Clive, who uh, can claim a seven can claim the seven pounds so one out that's number one young kenny leaves a field of 19 in this coral euro bet welsh nas really tremendous betting heat very very active in the market and a lot of horses being back uh, moral support four to one in the offices this morning has opened up three to one and pretty solid although there is 130 being called behind me uh, in a place edmund 11 to 2 second favorite king's road there was support for that one this morning that's 13 to 2 that's the best it's been today Good Lord Murphy is solid at nines with Khaki Crazy, uh, a 12's chance having touched 20s in the offices, but very well supported at 16s throughout the morning. Ardent Scout, a lot of each way money for that, as there has been for Royal Tommy at 12s as well. Jock's Cross is a 14 to 1 chance, Papo Charisma's 20s, Flaked Oats 20s, Spanish Man is 20s, Spanish Main is 20s, and it's 25 to 1 bar. Under orders and they're racing. And Joyush has missed the start badly by about six or eight lengths and back second last in the early stages. We see Yura Gooden, but Edmund, last year's winner, going on early, but headed by Papo Charisma. Then up in third is Dom Samurai as they go around the first turn, a real charge and a very steep uphill climb before they reach the back. And they've got a, a run of just under half a mile before they reach the first jump. It's Edmund, last year's winner, who's the leader from Dom Samurai and Papo Charisma. A length and a half further back, Sunny Bay. Second in two grand nationals and takes up a prominent position. One length further back, then on the inside is Jock's Cross, followed by Amble's side and moral support. They're heavily backed. Two to one favourite, lying about sixth early, followed by Atavistic. Further back in the field, then on the inside is Montreux as they come to the first of 22 fences. Jumping it well is out wide as Khaki Crazy, and they're all over the first okay settling center field is king's road followed then by arden scout as they go over the second which is an open ditch and all over that one oh no one's gone back in the field there we've got a faller back in the field it's yora gooden yora gooden's gone at the second Heading now towards the third, and Edmund led over it. From on the outside, Amble's side, horse and rider are OK. They're up on their feet OK. Then in third, then, is Dom Samurai, who's up very handy today, followed then by Sunny Bay. Jock's Cross is tucked away on the inside, followed then by Papo Charisma. Montreux is back in the field, and they're followed then by Moral Support. Khaki Crazy as they come to the fifth. Further back in the field, then, is uh, King's Road. Out wider, Atavistic, back in the the field then flake dotes well back as they sort themselves out as royal tommy followed by moon digwa good lord murphy is last joyush has made up a bit of ground has passed a couple of uh, horses and moral support uh, i should say uh, well back in the field spanish main who's second last moral support is uh, just behind this leading group as they leave the back on the first occasion it's edmund who shows the way edmund from amble side and then in third is sunny bay One one length to Papo Charisma and just behind them on the inside Jock's Cross followed by Dom Samurai and Moral Support poking up there in the centre. They're followed then by the Grey Montreux as they prepare to leave the back now. Very tightly grouped this field then Khaki Crazy is just about to get into the picture. Further back in the field then King's Road is just behind the leading group as they come into the home straight. 
Joy Ush is well back in the field. Good Lord Murphy has dropped back to last. Spanish Main about third last. Coming into the straight now towards the seventh. Sunny Bay, the grey, moves up on the outside of Ambleside and Edmund. They share the lead. Just in behind them is Moral Support, who's got a perfect run. Followed then by Jocks Cross and Montro, Dom Samurai. The greys all together as they come to the second ditch. Further back in the field then is Kaki Crazy, followed by Flake Dotes at this stage. Kings Road just being ridden along. They're nicely clear of Moon Digwer. A good gap in the field to Arden Scout as they come to the ninth from Atavistic and Royal Tommy. Uh, further back in the field, Joyus, a Spanish main just preceding him, and Good Lord Murphy is last. Heading up now towards uh, what will be the tenth fence, and it's Ambleside who jumps it in front of Sunny Bay and Edmund over on the far side. One length further back in the field then follows Montreux as they come towards the 11th, which will be the last next time round. Just behind the leading group at this stage, Jocks Cross, followed then by Papo Charisma, then Dom Samurai from Flake Dotes and Arden Scout, Kings Road being ridden along. Kaki Crazy getting reminders with a circuit to go. Followed then by Moon Digwa, a gap in the field to Royal Tommy. They're followed by Atavistic being hard ridden Spanish main, a gap of 10 lengths then to Joyush and Good Lord Murphy whips them in as they head downhill now towards the stable bend and the uh, leader here is Ambleside on the inside by half a length from Sunny Bay who's moved up into second and the 18 of the 19 runners are still standing as they head into the back now. Yora Gooden is the only casualty so far. Heading now towards the back on the second uh, circuit, and it's Ambleside, the leader, from Sunny Bay and Edmund, tucked in behind third. Moral support lies a handy fourth, followed by Jocks Cross, and then Montreux, two lengths to Papo Charisma, followed by Flake Dotes, who's being hard ridden. Kings Road is being niggled. They're followed by Kaki Crazy, and further back, Moon Digwa from Dom Samurai, as the leaders come towards the 12th. Royal Tommy is well back from Atavistic. They're followed by Spanish. Main Arden Scout losing ground, followed by Good Lord Murphy, who's just gone past Joy Ush as they come towards the third ditch. And Ambleside led over it from last year's winner, Edmund. Uh, further back in the field, uh, it's uh, Royal Tommy has come down. Royal Tommy's down, and so too Papo Charisma as they head over the next plane fence. And it's moral support now. Let fly around the outside has gone up to join Edmund. Just behind them, Ambleside, followed then by Sunny Bay and then Jocks Cross and that quintet have drawn away now from in sixth position on the inside Kaki Crazy Joyush has been pulled up Kings Road is being hard ridden in about seventh or eighth followed by Montreux Atavistic and Spanish Main they come towards the next plane fence and Edmund and moral support stride for stride from uh, Jocks Cross in third they're followed by Amble's side and further back is Sunny Bay as they come to six out it's Edmund on the near side from moral support they jump it together, touch down together. Well back in the field, Dom Samurai, but it's moral support on the far side from Edmund, last year's winner, who's being hard ridden now. Then Jocks Cross in third, and that trio have drawn right away as they start this. Very long run towards home now. There's a good gap of about 12 lengths then to Ambleside. Kings Road is behind them from Sunny Bay out of Istic, then Spanish Main. And you can safely forget the rest who are headed by Montreux. Heading towards the home turn now in this co Coral Eurobet Welsh National. And it's Moral Support, the heavily backed favourite on the near side who leads for Tony Dobbin. Jocks Cross on the outside. They've drawn four lengths in front of last year's winner Edmund. A long gap then to the others as they round the home turn now and they've got five fences left to jump in the straight moral support his white face on the far side jumps into the lead now from jocks cross they're about five or six lengths to edmund a long gap then to the others they come up towards the last ditch this is four out moral support the charlie man train jumper being grabbed now by jocks cross on the near side brian crowley on this venetia williams train jumper moves up 
to throw out the big challenge with three fences left to jump in the Coral Welsh National. On the near side, Jocks Cross, a narrow leader from Moral Support. They've drawn right away now, about 25 lengths to Edmund, and they're clear then of King's Road. Two left to jump, Jocks Cross on the near side. Jumps it well, has gone three lengths in front. Moral Support is trying to raise another effort. They're followed by Edmund and King's Road Ambleside. One left to jump, though, and it's Jocks Cross, four lengths in front, draws towards it, pops over it well. Four or five lengths in front now of moral support. A long gap then to Edmund, but it's Jocks Cross, ridden by Brian Crowley, who's four or five lengths in front and is going to outstay them in the Coral Eurovet Welsh National. Jocks Cross scrambles home by two to three lengths in second moral support. A long gap to Edmund in third. Going to be a race for fourth. Ambleside just getting home there from Flake Dotes. Followed then by Kings Road. Montreux is well back. Dom Samurai and Good Lord Murphy are the only other finishers. And they just get to the line ahead of Montreux. Sunny Bay pulled up. And looking back down the course, uh, Khaki Crazy also uh, pulled up. The winner, though, number six, Jocks Cross at 14 to 1. Trained by Venetia Williams for Mrs. Jill Harrison and ridden by Brian Crowley. And look at him, a delighted rider, and so he should be after that fine staying performance. In second number 12, the heavily backed Moral Support, owned by Tom and Evelyn Yates, trained by Charlie Mann and ridden by Tony Dobbin. And third number five, Edmund, owned by Lady Nutswood. Uh, Nutsford trained by Henry Daly and ridden by Richard Johnson. Fourth number 16, Amble Sun. First number six, Jocks Cross at 14 to 1. And say the book is a massive payout because there was a colossal gamble. That's the only way really to describe the support for this moral support. Number 12, the 2 to 1 favourite in the Welsh National with 19 runners. Third number 5, Edmund, uh, well supported each way at 5 to 1. And fourth number 16, Ambleside at